Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be installing Rally Armor mud flaps on my Subaru WRX STI courtesy of EdgeAutosport.com. Uh, basically I'm going to be headed to the mountain a good amount this winter and I just wanted something to help prevent snow and ice and dirt and salt from getting kicked up all over the side of the car. So these should do the trick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the wheel towards the direction that you're going to be working on and then open up the door so that you can remove the side skirt and then there's going to be two plastic clips underneath here that we're going to want to remove so that we can pull off this side skirt some. So there's one here towards the front. So there's the first one off. And there's the second clip. Okay so now what we want to do is gently pull off this side skirt, there's two horizontal tabs in here that are holding it in. So there's one, and there's the second one popped out. So now that that's off, we want to remove this panel right here, and you're going to start at the top, and then just work your way down until you can remove that. So next we want to partially remove this fender liner, so what we need to remove, there's five clips holding it in, one, two, three, four, and then there's one up here that you can also remove and that should make it easier to take that out. So we want to pull out this fender liner. Like so. Uh, there's some leaves back there, so I might as well remove them while I'm in here. And basically the only thing we need to do next is install these tabs uh, onto these spots right here. These are little clip nuts that we're going to be screwing into. So place those like so. And then you can put the fender liner back. There we go. So next we're going to want to fit this bracket in here, so it's going to slide on the other side of the side skirt and then around like that. And then you're going to take your two flathead screws and go ahead and line those up with the clip nuts that you inserted behind the fender liner. And then you're going to want to pull it basically as far to, towards the car as you can. So then you can go ahead and start to tighten down those flat heads, not all the way. So pull that over and then you've got a clip which you need to insert into the hole over here. So mount that until you can press it all the way in. And then you're going to want to go ahead and tighten these guys down all the way basically just till it's snug. Then you can go ahead and put back your clips that were holding in the fender liner. So next you'll reinstall this side panel and you want to make sure the outside of this is tucked inside of this clip right here. So start down at the bottom and then have that come over that, but under that one. And then you can re-mount the side skirt. And then you'll want to put those two clips that held the side skirt in from underneath back in underneath. So next you can slide on the mud flap with the logo facing the rear. And then you've got a washer and a nut to slide over each of these two bolts. Just kind of loosely tighten those on so you can still adjust it. And then you've got a screw, short screw with the washer to put into that clip that you inserted on the innermost one. 
So this is the only one that can be kind of tricky without removing the wheel, getting a screwdriver that you can fit in there and still tighten that guy down. So once that inner screw is tightened down, then you've just got these two 11 millimeter nuts to tighten down and basically you just want to get these snug. So there's the front mud flap fully installed and now we'll move to the rear. Now the rear mud flap is actually quite a bit easier and there's only one clip that you need to remove, that's this one right here. So you're going to want to pop that out. So you're going to want to separate those two pieces of that retaining clip for the later install. Next you're going to slide the bracket in that holds the mud flap. And you can slide that clip back in. So next we're going to slide these clips on and there's nothing you have to remove, you can simply put them on the stock location. So there's one up at the top. And then one at the bottom and you want to make sure that on the bottom one that you get this behind that metal bracket so it's going to cover both the bumper and the metal bracket. And then the next thing we're doing is sliding on the mud flap. So simply line it up, get one of the big washers and a screw, and then get your first one started so you can kind of hold it in place. Then get another washer and short screw and start the second one. And then you're going to want to slide the final clip on the bracket in the rear. And then you'll take the final washer and screw and line those up. Now for these outer two screws you'll be able to just use a screwdriver to tighten them down. And then for the inner one uh, you may need to use something like a socket with a Phillips head or a 90 degree screwdriver and if you don't have something like that then you could always just remove the rear wheel. So once all the screws are tightened up you are good to go. So a big thank you to Edge Auto Sport for hooking me up with these mud flaps and I'll include a link in the description so you can check them out. As always if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.